Welcome YouTube, this is OCloud36, or Cloud, and I'm with my older brother, known as OB. OB. And we are here to do a Let's Play of King's Quest IV. And to start off, we thought we would show you the introduction and the wonderful, infamous copyright. So, uh, we found that the third word in the second paragraph of the overview was animated. And ladies and gentlemen, King's Quest IV. Is this your first time playing King's Quest 4? Oh, I, something I thought was really cool here. Go ahead and say it. Uh, the, both of the characters are mirrored images of each other, except for the checkered decoration on their right legs. With the return of the long, long, long lost Alexander, <laughs> uh, and the rescue of his daughter Rosella from the terrible dragon, old King Graham decides it's time to pass on his adventurous hat to younger blood. He flings the battered hat toward his children, while his wife, Queen Valenice, proudly looks on. Well, gents, this is a moment of excitement. Look at the hang time on that hat. I mean, that is a beautiful toss. Suddenly, King Graham experiences a terrible squeezing pain in his chest. Help me! He rasps. The adventurer's hat lies unclaimed upon the floor, forgotten. King Graham lies weakly in bed, Father Death hovering near. Grief suddenly overwhelming her, Rosella walks away. <laughs> oh, Father, she sobs, you're so young and stop. <laughs> Do you really mean that? A soft voice asks. Rosella looks up but sees no one. Who's speaking to me? I am. The voice says. Look in the magic mirror. Oh, God. <laughs> Rosella sees an image in the mirror. Who are you? She queries. Queries? <laughs> she queries? I am the fairy Genesta, and my land is to be here. There is a remarkable tree. This tiny tree needs 100 years to bear a single fruit. But this is no ordinary fruit, for if a person were to eat it, they would find that good health and well-being would be theirs for many years. Hee <laughs> hee. Rosella is much heartened by this news. Where is the land of Tamir? Janesta smiles. Tamir is very far away, but with my magic, I can bring you here. Rosella senses that there is more to the story. But am I supposed to... But I suppose there are some problems. Again, Janesta smiles. Yes, you are correct, Rosella. 
If you are willing to come to Tamir, I will explain the situation. However, once I bring you here, I can't send you back. You will have to help me first. Confused, Rosella says, I don't know. What if I can't help you? I'll find the tree. Janesta pleads. You must decide now, Rosella. My powers are growing weaker by the minute. Now the fairy is but a faint glimmer, and her voice barely audible. If you care for your father, say yes now. And suddenly, she's gone. Yes! The lovely fairy speaks. I am the fairy Janesta. Welcome to Tamir. Rosella looks awestruck at the fairy. She is stunningly beautiful, but still there is a certain sadness to her. <laughs> Finally, Rosella speaks. I know you would like to help me, or you'd like me to help you in some way, but I don't know how I could help a fairy. Janessa looks sadder than ever. You're wrong, Rosella. You see, I'm losing my magical powers. Yesterday I was strolling through the woods and the lo Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the fairy sun. <laughs> <laughs> she acted for my dad and the voice of the voice of the doctor. I think I'm going to my powers to make sure you look like I will die 24 hours of my talents for some time. Intently, Janessa looks at Rosella. The lot is very evil, and will use the talisman to bring more evil to Tamir. Now I fear it will contaminate my whole country. My whole country. Further, I cannot send you home without my talisman. Rosella is unsure as to what she can do. Meekly, she asks, I want to help you, but how? You can do more than you think, Rosella. Janesta assures her. I believe you will be able to penetrate the lost domain. <laughs> Suddenly, Rosella remembers the tiny tree. Can you tell me where to find the magic fruit? Remorsefully, Janesta looks at Rosella. It will not be easy to reach the tree. It grows on a tiny island with a vast swamp on the other side of the great mountains. Bravely fighting back tears, Rosella says, I, I will help you in any way I can, Janesta. How can I find Lalat? <laughs> the beautiful fairy points eastward. Lalat's castle overlooks Tamir from the great mountains. Janesta looks weaker and as she says, There is not much more I can do, Rosella. As it is, it would be difficult for me to fly home again. <coughs> One thing I must do for you, though. I shall disguise you as a peasant girl so as not to attract attention. Ding, ding, ding. Th thank you, Janesta. I think... Rosella stammers. It will be better for you, the fairy says. Well, I must be off while I can still fly. I know you can do it. Goodbye! Good luck! So long! Farewell! Well, you're on your own, Rosella.
I didn't know I had to hit enter there. <laughs> well, that intro is perfectly ten minutes, just about. So that will be it for the first video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.